How many folk can knock on your door this morning and say, I just want to make sure you're all right. You got enough food on your table, enough food on your refrigerator, enough gas in your car. Make sure your light bill, gas bill, water bill is being paid. Everybody's doing all right. You got enough toothpaste, cornbread. How about yesterday then? How about the day before that? How about last week? Last month? Come in, I'll leave first. I'm trying to, you got nothing for right? Oh, they come in the door already. We were going to put Taco Bell on the whole day on Sonic. The Eagles already, already have their own food. Praise the Lord. 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 They come in the door already. They're ready to eat. I'm going to get their own food. I'm just about to say, can I have one of them? He said, yeah, you can have one. Oh, I'll show you the big thing. <laughs> can I have one of them? Sure, can I have one of them? Get the big one, get the big one. Oh man, she got the big one. <laughs> <laughs> so she you that point, I'll make sure you don't come back. Thank you. Thank you. See, you gotta have fun and just stay called church. You gotta have fun. You gotta have fun. Here, come. Cause I gotta pause on this one. That you what? Always have what? All sufficiency. Hear that word? All in, what? Insufficiency. Sufficiency. What that mean? See, see, this is not, this is, this is not, I, I mean, I would love for it to be, but this is not talking about you talking in tongues. This is not talking about you turning around feeling good in the Holy Ghost. I mean, I would love for it to be that, but this is talking about your mind. This is talking about your financial stability. This is talking about your daily supply of needs. And why should we jump over this? When you operate under the realm of bountifulness, he said, I cause all grace to start leaping towards you. This is not your tithing. This is my offering. This is my offering. Either I'm going to be on the sparing train or I'm going to be on the back of the train. It's a big one train you want to ride. They both travel on the same type of tracks. So the people, who's going to go ride? So she made this my first class. Some of y'all that know thing about flying, there's always a curve between first class and coaching. First class, board first. The season won't come. They may even offer you a real meal. But you get back there, behind that curve, you get pretzels. <laughs> you get peanuts. They're going to give you a choice of drink. They're going to give you a cup, put some ice in it, and they're going to pour some drink out of the container for you. First class, they'll be the whole can. Give the whole bottle. Come on. Mainly first class with those who know how to enjoy being isolated. They know the travel from here and there. They have the business of whatever's going on with and they want some peace and quiet. They don't want to be back there with the baby hollering all the time and folks talking all. They want, they want to sit back and relax. Amen. <laughs> they want to be first on and first off. They don't want to stand over there and they got to go back to the restaurant, walk way down the alley and look at them walk in and walk way back. No, no, no. Everything's accessible. God said, I'm going to give you first class treatment. All sufficiency, read that word, and I got a call request. In what? In all things. In all things. Pause and we'll fix that up right there on the next one. Uh, Brown. All sufficiency and what? Now, now, stand. Everyone stand. What did you do? Come on. Tell me, come on. What did you do? What did you do? See my now. Now, question. What's going on on the heart? Is it the heart? 
condition. He went to the doctor and they said something about your heart. What's going on? What's going on? You? What's going on about your heart? Your heart, your heart, the heart. Is it you? Come here. Come here. What do you give? Even on the left side of your body, even in your hip area, God is touching you there. 
Not knowing what him about the car incident or the car wreck, but the hand of God is upon you for the good. The enemy tried to take you out of here, but God reserved you. God kept you. Your heart was cut, cut and hurt, but God came on virtue you move there. And whatever happened in the court system, God had turned things around there by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now, God, do it for now. Oh, you can't. 